Hello again. I'm just going to be doing a really quick video showing the double action mechanism of a Tasso BE90. Um, I have removed the stock in the barrel assembly to make it easier to record. I also already took off the side panels. So we can just get right down to it. Um, there's also no CO2 in there. So this is a double action marker, as I mentioned. I believe sometimes in advertising, they might have called it a semi-auto or a like semi-auto. Uh, probably just because by the time this came out, I believe semi-auto markers were available and double action was kind of falling by the wayside. So what this thing does, as you see here on the left side, This mechanism is what's pulling the hammer back in preparation for fire. So as you pull the trigger, bottom arm comes forward, rotates the middle arm, extending the rear arm and pulling the hammer back, pushing the hammer back. Now you see right here this little nub, that comes to contact with the rear arm. Uh, just a slight more pull on the trigger and it'll pop the arm off the hammer and release it. And then the marker fires. Now this does have a good bit of trigger pull, as you can see here. That is necessary to make all these parts move without um, making an incredibly difficult trigger pull. I haven't used any other double actions. This one's really not that bad. And I think it's actually easiest if you use your middle finger. But you can use this for a while. Without getting too tired, I think. And part of the way I believe they achieved that was this has really, um, really soft springs. In fact, you can pull the hammer back, no problem. But you don't want this to happen. But they use soft springs in the valve and for the hammer, which uh, when I do the valve disassembly video, I can kind of show that as well as I can show a soft spring. But the end result is a fairly smooth trigger pull with a nice, the last bit there, you get a nice little snap as it releases. So as you can see in the front here, uh, the bolt is also extending. And that is handled by the mechanism over here. So as it's pushing the hammer back, it is simultaneously pushing the bolt forward and loading another round into the barrel. Now, I think this is probably the spot where they could have used some improvement. It's also possible I'm uh, missing pieces or the design changed. But this right here can bind up a little bit. It's not really a big deal. Uh, it probably won't happen now that I... No. But because there's a slight bit of play here... Let's see if I can focus. There's a little bit of play in this mechanism. You can see all this wibbling around. This is all tight. The screw's in tight. Everything's in place. But the guide is a bit wider than the screw that it got rides along it. And I think they probably could have resolved that with a bushing, perhaps. Or, uh, actually, let's try. There we go. As you can see there. That's what I wanted to show you. So it's one screw that's going through that arm into the, I guess the shuttle in the middle there. And they probably could have actually used a riser to fit that gap a bit more snug or a bushing of some sort to fill that in. I was going to experiment with that at some point. Um, but for the most part, it's not really an issue. Just occasionally you'll pull the trigger and it'll get stuck right around here as this whole thing binds up. I 
Here we have the bolt. So the thing is under tension, paint will be force fed down here behind this detent normally. Um, I found this detent actually blocks feeding sometimes. Probably needs to be adjusted. But our paint will be loaded into here. Bolt will load it forward into the barrel. And it'll fire. That's pretty much all there is to it. So next time I'll probably be going uh, a bit further into it. I did order some seals for the valve. Uh, they are not the right size. I ordered metrics because most of the hardware seemed to be metric on here. Um, and some of the measurements were right on metric. But I couldn't get the uh, O-rings to fit quite right. So I'm going to try it again with some standard O-rings. And once I do that, I'll be pulling it apart completely. And I'll show you how this whole valve assembly comes out. There's an interesting combination of valve, a uh, little shuttle for the bolt. This whole thing comes out. It's an interesting setup. But uh, that is all for now.